What's up everybody? It is Ben from SRK Cycles and today I've got a 1983 Yamaha Maxim. It's a 750 and uh, we're going to take a quick walk around this thing. Uh, it is an 83, it's got quite a few miles on it and I'm going to pick it apart a little bit. It's, uh, it's mechanically fine, it runs good, it would be a great first bike, great commuter bike. Um, but I'm going to point out some of the flaws and some of the good things. Starting on a good note, plenty of life left in this tire. Um, definitely going to pass inspection. Uh, would be good to go for lots of miles. Um, no worries there, no cracking or anything. Looks like it was replaced, you know, within the last couple years. There's uh, your tail light and turn signals and license plate mount. That is quite a license plate mount. I'm used to much smaller ones on the newer bikes. It is shaft drive, as you can see there. Um, come around here on the side. You can see all of this is just kind of, just really, really just bone stock factory. Um, there's the suspension. There's the exhaust. There are these two holes here. It looks like maybe they had like a, a badge for the exhaust or something, but that is obviously gone. Um, you can see the wheel in there. Wheel and tire look to be in pretty good shape. See the swing arm. There is some, some rust in here on the swing arm and here, but it does not appear to be like, um, doesn't appear to be fatal, if you will, as it's rusting through. It just looks to be mainly, mainly just surface rust. Um, it is missing the side panel here. Um, the other side has it, but this side does not. That's the way I got it. That's the way it is. Here's your passenger peg, rider peg, rear brake. Everything in the motor here looks to be pretty good shape. Um, little bit of rust there on the plugs, but it fires right up. It runs well. Been riding it around. Um, there are the carbs. It's not leaking anything. Uh, so yeah, that's where it's at. It is an 83 and it's a decent bike. You should see uh, Sean's test drive video that should be up on YouTube to see it out on the road. There you can see the badge it is fading a little bit. There is uh, some scratches here. This is like a dent here in the tank um, and some just other little like rust spots coming through. Uh, yeah, so that's where it's at. That's the condition of the bike. The seat's not in bad shape though. We'll look at that here in a minute. Um, keep it coming around here in the front. Here's the you know, brake of the handlebar, mirrors, you guys can see all that pretty obviously. Headlight, turn signal, turn signal, a little bit of fade here on the on the front badge. This turn signal looks like it's held on by a zip tie. There's actually one screw here in the cover. This screw is missing, so that's holding that cover on. Like I said, that's how I got it. That's how it is. Uh, we priced accordingly. You can see the fork tube here is in pretty good shape. You know, no rusting or uh, pitting or any of that. It does have the dual rotors up front. There you can see the front wheel uh, up on top of the front fender here. There's a little bit of rust mark right there and kind of some pitting and whatnot on the chrome up top. This front tire is looking to be in pretty good shape. Very similar to the back tire. I think they were put on at the same time. Um, lots of life left. Definitely going to pass inspection. Um, so yeah, here we're on this side of the bike see the front wheel from this side and coming up this fork tube looking to be in good shape no rust no pitting none of that there is some rust there on the exhaust um again that's how i got it got, uh, handlebars here clutch mirror all that this side of the tank more of the same this badge is kind of faded got some rust marks here got a rust mark up here right there um, some stuff here kind of around the badge I mean it, it is a little bit in rough shape but like I said mechanically it seems to be fine we been riding it around fuel fuel valve um, up here you can see that the choke thing is actually the little handle is broken off so actually you gotta like spin it with your fingernail but that's the way it is uh, there is the side panel on this side. Got your rider peg, shift knob. Does have the side stand and the center stand. Passenger pegs. Got your rear tire. You can see the shaft drive in there. All good to go. Up here on the back seat. Back seat is looking to be in pretty good shape, all except for this little tear right here. The rest of the of the seams look to be in good shape. All tightened up. It's just that one spot. Um, a little bit of a hole right there too. 
Uh, here on the tank, got this spot I tried to point out a little bit earlier. Just some scratches and whatnot. There's your fill cap. There's all the gauges. See all that? Yeah. Let's turn it on here. You guys can see it run. There's your neutral indicator. Kill switch is off. Turn signals work, rear signal on this side, and front signal on this side. Get your rear signal on this side, and your front signal on this side. There you can see the headlight is on. Just gonna turn that off. But yeah, like I said, guys, it's a 1983 Yamaha Maxim uh, 750. Don't miss out on Sean's test drive. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.